Hello. 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 Welcome to our booth and house and Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, oh, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself and your company? Yes, of course. So, um, Jeffrey, I'm the owner and founder of uh, From the Wood Studio. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the future expansion for Explorers of the Woodlands, mm -hmm. uh, which will be uh, hitting Kickstarter soon, February next year. And so this was released last year, and next year I'm going to release the expansion for the yeah. game. So this is why I showed this to you as well. And um, should I just go and explain it? Yeah. So the expansion brings a lot of more stuff. Uh, as you can see here, uh, yeah. it brings river tiles that didn't exist in the main game at all. Oh. A cool boat. That will be uh, for crowdfunders. Okay. Uh, so the main game was a forest crawler in which you would have these types of tiles, right? Oh. So there's a few more of these uh, regular tiles for your forest, mm -hmm. but also before you play with the expansion, you set up a river. Yeah. Uh, it's a random river. You just draw the tiles and you do mm -hmm. the river as it as it comes. And here, what you can do, what you have to do, sorry, the new objective is to defeat both the ground boss, which is usually in the forest and also a second boss at the end of the river. Mm -hmm. So this introduces a lot of new mechanics, such as the boat in which all your characters can go inside, or you can go in separate ways, and also on some of the tiles, like this one, yeah. you could get off the boat, back mm -hmm. on the boat. Uh, you will find new special tiles. I won't go into too many details, but new peddlers, uh, new unit tiles as well, new traps, and also more mechanics to buy stuff. You used to buy stuff with orbs, now you can uh, buy stuff with defeated monsters. Oh. monster markers, such as this one. Uh, the expansion brings 20 more uh, monsters. Uh -huh. I don't know if, if I should place them here. Yeah. But yeah, lots of new monsters, also adapted ones from, uh, from the new character. Mm -hmm. It will also allow people to play now up to one in five players. Mm -hmm. It used to be one to four. Oh, one more player. It brings a lot of more stuff too. So the, in the core game, the, um, the characters could level up to level two. Yeah. And they will each have new cards to get more levels to. Mm -hmm. So you keep your progression, and you can go even further with your progression with the expansion. It also introduces new bosses. Uh, there's also new types of cards. This card didn't mm -hmm. exist at all in the core game. Yeah. So amulet cards, such as these ones. Mm -hmm. uh, you have teleportation travelers. Basically, these are cool powers mm -hmm. uh, that anyone can get, and you can only have one of these, and you will place it here, yeah. right? Whereas the, the the unique power cards are slightly mm -hmm. here, and you will pay to get more of oh, your unique powers yeah. unlocked during uh, gameplay. It also introduces the Swamp Fever cards, which are the opposite of this, which are bad cards. You don't yeah. want to get them, <laughs> if possible. Uh, it could be, for instance, uh, it costs you two to reroll mm -hmm. instead of one. You see negative outcomes, ah. basically. There's several ways to get these yeah. or to get rid of these. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, if you go to the altar here, mm -hmm. uh, let's say my hero, uh, this is a prototype, so it's uh, yeah. a bit smaller than the true one will be. So if you go here mm -hmm. and you make a donation to the altar, uh, you can now pay with monster markers, such as mm -hmm. here, and either grab an amulet mm -hmm. or just discard one of these. Mm -hmm. And also, each character can now buy an amulet when they reach level four, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, it introduces as many cards as there were in the yeah. core game. There are, there are 20 more items. Mm -hmm. So more uh, weapons, more ways to get a bigger inventory slot as well, because in the, in the game you have three slots here. Mm -hmm. But like if you use the potion bag, you mm -hmm. can store up to three potions, for instance. Maybe you won't be able to see it. Okay. Uh, or some of the stuff like a backpack, some special uh, weapons. Mm -hmm. So lots of more content. It's about almost the same as the core game, actually. And it also introduces more events uh, to go with the core game also. Yeah. So there's two ways to deal with the expansion. Maybe the first time you play, uh, you want to just add the new items and mm -hmm. or the new events, yeah. and then you can add the river to, to get the flow of the game and get better mm -hmm. at it. So I don't know if I can go into a little more details just to finish with the monsters mm -hmm. here. Uh, we have new types of monsters, including these ones here, yeah. uh, that have bonuses where they mm -hmm. are in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, and also some of these mosquito type thingies here, you don't want to get stung. Yeah. <laughs> they will give you swamp fever. And also mm -hmm. if you don't defeat them, instead of they stay here, they go back to the mm -hmm. monster pile. So these will keep hunting you <laughs> and they can be pretty annoying. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, the, the go the ahead. Yeah, no worries. Okay. 
complicated, no problem. It's just a screen that... Yeah, just yeah. Out, yeah. Okay. No problem, yeah. Let's pretend nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, okay. So just, uh, just yeah. as for the core game, this will hit Kickstarter soon. Yeah. It should be February. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're hoping to, to have this installed maybe December 2025. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, I don't know how many languages, but a lot. <laughs> Hopefully in Korean too, because this was available yeah. in Korean. Yeah, MPS was. Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. When in the Sunny Games. A great mm -hmm. team, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, basically it's more of this, mm -hmm. more mechanics, and it, it brings a more tactical depth to it. Like, um, if you know the game, you know that it's kind of easy to circulate your way around the forest, but when you have to take into account that you have to stop and try to explore here, no, this is a dead end, let's get back on the boat, let's, get, let's try to find that boss. Yeah. Um, it also um, comes with uh, a new player aid for both the core game and the expansion, some reworked rule books, mm -hmm. and there the screen is again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's the mm. quick rundown I can give you. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy mm. to, to answer them. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, then okay, can you uh, can you not go ahead, me? Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, no worries. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it shouldn't uh, be sticky. But <laughs> when the Kickstarter start, okay. Sorry, what? When the Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. So start. it should be February, yeah. and then February stores maybe December mm -hmm. or January because you know with, with shipping, mm -hmm. it's always uh, long. But the game design is done, uh, mm -hmm. we need to translate it with our partners. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously there's more than you can actually see here, but yeah. I'm keeping some spoilers for my campaign. <laughs> okay. uh, like the boat will come with a, yeah. there's going to be an easy version, and also nice boat, oh, the boat yeah. will have its own uh, board, yeah. in which uh, the boat can be damaged, so you'll have to repair it. There's all sorts of mechanics with the board. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep too many details because it doesn't yeah. make sense when you're not playing, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, if you like this, you should definitely like this. <laughs> That's the idea. And uh, people who know the rules for this won't be lost. You know, More of the same and more mechanics, but really easy to teach and understand. So it does make uh, the core game a little longer. I need to change this. It still says 35. This was 35 when you know the rules. Mm -hmm. We're closer to 50, 60 minutes with the expansion. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's about it for uh, this presentation. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming and yeah. thank you for uh, introducing your new thank game. You. Yeah. yeah. And I'll send it to you as soon as I get copies. Okay. <laughs> thank yeah, you. I expect nobody. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye. You too. Bye.